Yo, 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 hey guys, it's poppin' Jock State here. Back with another unboxing, as you can see. Today, Nike sent me some trash, sent me some garbage, some waste. I'm trying to think of what you guys are gonna say in the comments, uh, but that only had three, so I'm gonna leave it at that. Anyway, uh, as you can see, Nike sent me something very special, and if you are a fan of this channel, if you've watched this channel, you may already know what's in here, so big kudos to those out there that already know what's popping. So, this is obviously a Nike garbage truck. As you see, it has the Nike swoosh, and it's a literal garbage truck. And they actually did really good with the details on here. As you see, there is a Nike swoosh here on the front, and it's not just flat cardboard, it actually has some texture to it. So, this is a box or shoe box, I'm gonna say, that I'm actually gonna hold on to. Pretty dope to have the Nike swooshes there on the side. And then even down here, it says, caution vehicle stops and backs frequently. So for fans of the world of sport, know that the waste management tournament is coming up and this is Nike's sort of nod, I'll say, to the waste management tournament. And uh, I think it actually fits perfectly. Uh, it's very, very well done and the colors pop, looks really, really great. But what's inside is really what's gonna blow your guys' mind. It's really, really, uh, I, I don't know how to explain I'm just gonna let you guys look at it and then you can kind of tell me what you think about it. So let's get right into it. Obviously it opens up from the back like a trash truck would open up from the back. And there's actually two pairs of kicks in here. There's this green pair and this blue pair and like with the box, I should say, they treated these like they were trash cans as well. So if we're in, in California here, we have these plastic trash cans that have wheels on them. There's the green one, which is for the stuff that like plants and grass and stuff like that. And then there's the blue one, which is the recyclable. At least that's how it is in my area in LA. So let's start with the green one because I actually believe you've seen this green one already, especially if you follow me over on Instagram. So if you don't uh, follow me, it's I'll put a, the words right there, K-U-S-T-O-O. -O. Anyway, so let's hop into this pair, and you guys are really, I think this pair is really gonna blow your mind. It's an interesting pair. I'll leave it at that. So <laughs> here you go. So this is the Nike Air Max One Golf, and the name of this colorway is Grass, and uh, you can see why. Let me get both of these out of here. Now, obviously, this is one of the most unique colorways we have seen on a golf shoe in a very long time. So the upper of the shoe features this turf inspired material. This isn't actually turf. It feels more like garland almost. You know the stuff uh, from Christmas, the little sparkly stuff, the little stringy stuff. That's kind of what this feels like, except it's green, so it obviously looks like a grass. They have a really nice thick outsole here, or midsole, I should say here, and then they went with the gum bottoms, which you guys know I absolutely love. And again, these are golf shoes, but they obviously have a lifestyle sort of slant to them. This is something that I really, really appreciate about Nike Golf and what they're doing is they're taking some risk when it comes to their footwear and looking outside of the traditional footwear space when it comes to golf, and they're kind of attacking that lifestyle angle. Now, this is obviously an extreme. This is pushing things really, really far, and I personally would rock these on the course just for the fact that I think it's super cool. Would I wear this outside of the course? I don't think I would wear these outside of the course, although Nike Golf does make some stuff that I would wear outside just wear in the street. I don't think these would make it to the street. I'd probably wear these to like a special event or something like that, but I don't think they would actually make it just in general. So they have obviously the Air Max unit there, and then they have, the, like I said, the white midsole and the gum outsole, and then they have what's called integrated traction. So these aren't spikes, they are spikeless cleats, uh, but you can see there's a nice bit of rubber there to help keep your feet locked in so you can follow through in your swing for those of you that actually play the sport. For the most part, the grass or turf trails to the back of the shoe, so it mostly trails to the back, but here at the toe it looks a little funky. Definitely looks a little funky at the toe, but for the most part, it all trails toward the back and gives like, completes the feel. There's also green piping in here as well to kind of complete the look, and then obviously the stitched Nike swoosh 
there in white just to pop out a little bit. So overall, just a very unique silhouette. Definitely not something that we've seen before. I actually, I, I take that back. I do feel like we've seen prototypes or art installations of shoes that look like this from Nike. When they talk about recycling, they generally do something like this, but they actually grow actual plants on top of them or, or from the inside. But with these, obviously, it's turf inspired is what I was told. And so this is an actual turf, but again, it feels more like garland. Definitely a very unique look, but this isn't the only pair. There's another pair in there as well. So hold on just a second. Now this pair, I think more of you guys are actually going to be into. It is an Air Max One Golf shoe as well, but it's not what you think. And while I say it's not what you think, uh, let's take a look here. So this is the Air Max One Golf paid in full. And this one is super nice. Let me get both of these out of here so we can get a closer look at these. And while I'm at it, I should let you guys know that these are just promo boxes. These are not the boxes that the shoe will come in at retail. Nike just sent me the promo versions of these and uh, just so I can show you guys, get you guys, get, give you guys a better look at them. So this is called the paid in full and that is because this is the shoe you're supposed to wear on Sunday, which is when you make the money. Uh, for those that follow golf, you know on Sunday when the, is when the winner announced and they win the prize or when they win the pool. And this is the shoe that Nike wants somebody to wear, which I really hope one of the players in the tournament actually wears these. So it's money inspired. As you can see, this graphic that goes right here around the last, it has like, if you look at the back of a dollar bill, that sort of green and the textures and the graphics that they have on the dollar bill on the money, that's what they're using here around the toe box for the rest of the shoe, like the toe box here, the mid panel and the heel, they have it in all black leather. I believe this is like a synthetic leather. Uh, I'm not sure if it's actual leather, it does definitely feels like a synthetic leather here. Then they have obviously the gold Nike swoosh, which looks really nice popping off the black. They have a hit of golf right there with the Nike swoosh and they have it again here on the tongue as well. And if you take a look at the inside of the shoe, they actually have a gold Nike swoosh on the insole as well. Uh, I'm not sure that they had the golf on the tongue of, of the grass version. No, it doesn't. doesn't. So those, you just, I mean, I guess it's obvious that those are golf shoes from the turf, but this one has it here, golf there, Nike swoosh here on the inside. And it's interesting, when you look at this Nike swoosh here, it's a little smaller, but this, this side of the shoe almost looks more like a traditional golf shoe than obviously on this side, which is the side of the Air Max One that we really, I guess we're really familiar with. But this side, it definitely looks a little more traditional. These also have some indentions here around the midfoot and around the heel. My first thought when I saw them is that, oh, this is for ventilation, but it doesn't appear that these actually go all the way through. So it's more of decoration to add a little bit of texture to the upper so it's not just black. It's almost like that back tech uh, here around, around the toe box. So these add a little more texture to help add on to that back tech. But these look great. Upper is amazing. But really what's popping on these is the outsole. So they have shredded up money-like material that's actually integrated into the integrated traction. So if you get a close look here, you can see that this is all like paper that's inside and outside of the actual rubber on the outsole. It's actually pretty dope in my opinion. It gives the shoe a very unique look. You can see the Nike swoosh there just barely because it's covered. But traditionally this is a clear outsole. So basically that's a clear outsole, but they have the fibers of money or the shredded up money integrated into the outsole, which looks really cool. I think it's just like a surface layer sort of integrated into the traction. It's not deep inside from what I can tell, but they do have a graphic at the bottom of the midsole that kind of helps reinforce the look of the paper. I imagine after, after a couple of wears that this paper is definitely going to wear away, but it definitely matches the graphic here that goes around the last that has that sort of money, the back of money sort of feel to it. It looks very, very unique in my opinion. Now, for those that are looking to grab these, these are gonna cost you $140 and they're going to release on January 
31st and these are going to be limited I should tell you that now so if you do want a pair of these just know that they're not going to be just out there you're going to have to really be on it if you want to grab yourself a pair of these these will also drop on the 31st for 140 dollars and again these are here to kind of help celebrate the waste management tournament which is a really super dope golf tournament it's probably the wildest most buck wild tournament out there it seems like the most fun for the audience so if you ever go to a golf tournament i recommend the waste management because that one just seems to have so much energy around it but if you don't like the turf or you don't like the paid in full the money sort of look what you can get is a regular Air Max one that comes in the traditional red and white colorway. And those are gonna drop on the 2nd of February and those are gonna cost you $120. I don't have a pair of those here, obviously, because they haven't released yet, but I'll definitely be buying myself a pair just so I can complete the trio. Again, paint in full, grass, February, I'm sorry, January 31st, $140. A regular pair is gonna be $120 when those drop on February 2nd. Uh, just wanted to give you guys a quick look. I just think this is a really, Dope package. Big shout out to obviously Nike Golf for hooking me up, hoping sending these over. I really love the packaging. Gonna keep all of this together. Uh, I am Jacques Slade. As always, I appreciate you. Make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe. And if you really like what you see here on this channel, why don't you go ahead and turn on your notifications? As always, I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you soon. Peace.